Hello and welcome to a weather related video and today I'm standing somewhere rather smelly, a little wet, uh, but somewhere I've never ever stood before in my whole life and it's kind of weird seeing it like this. And if you want to know where I am, believe it or not, I'm actually stood in the lake. I'm stood in the bay here at Crystal Beach and uh, the water's gone. That is all we can see. See how low the water's gone? Super low. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm quite far out here. Um, I'm about, oh, what's that? 120 feet away from the shoreline. Uh, usually this bit of water will be uh, chest deep here. Um, yeah, definitely chest deep in this area. And uh, I'm standing here on a rock and there's just a little bit of shallow water around me. And that is really it. Um, but what has caused all this? Well, I'll tell you exactly what caused this in a second. All right, so what causes a shift in water like this? Well, it's called what they call here on the Great Lakes a siege. And uh, when you get a strong winds uh, coming from a certain direction, it'll push all the water to the opposite side of the lake. So usually in the fall and early spring and early winter, I should say, we kind of get a lot of strong southwesterly winds, which usually give us a siege where our water levels rise rapidly and places like Fort Erie start to flood and the river all down the area floods, uh, Crystal Beach itself floods. But this one's different. It's a northeasterly wind, a very strong northeasterly wind over a period of time, blowing straight down Lake Ontario and also Lake Erie. Uh, reports are like around about the Hamilton area, maybe now going to Lake. It is possibly flooded around there. Uh, but the winds have pushed right down Lake Erie here. And there is reports down in Cleveland, Ohio area down there. They've got like 13, 14 foot waves along with uh, flooding. So the water is literally being pulled by the wind all the way down the lake. And has left us high and dry here on the uh, northeast shoreline of Lake Erie. Sadly, it looks like a lot of these minnows got caught out by it. Uh, there is a lot of small minnows dead lying on the beach area here. Actually, they're everywhere. Uh, I was going to say dozens, but it's now starting to look like hundreds. Hundreds of uh, little fish. Looks like they've all been left behind as the water uh, disappeared. And that water, I'm going to guess, went out very, very quickly. Now, this is something you don't always see very often here, the Crystal Beach area. Check this out. Look at that. It's not every day you get to walk up to the pier here. So uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make our way over here. Now, this great wall behind us has been here for what, 100 years nearly, maybe more. This is where the, uh, the Crystal Beach theme park would have been. The roller coaster would have been right here years and years ago. And this wall for decades has protected uh, the theme park and now those houses and uh, it still stands today and it's really weird to actually stand here and walk around here where waves and deep water would be normally thrashing against those walls and splashing everywhere but today I'm walking on the sand dune <laughs> here at Crystal Beach this is this is unreal it's like I'm kind of waiting for like a tsunami like the the wave to come back in and uh, sweep me out it's not every day you uh see this around here it really is hard to believe that um well today's friday it's currently four degrees celsius at one o'clock in the afternoon but just four days ago it was over 30 degrees celsius down here which is 90 degrees fahrenheit approximately and now we're freezing cold. It's more like the first of April weather than it is the end of um, the end of May. Quite unreal. But I'm kind of finding this very bizarre to walk along here and check out this. 
never ever ever in the 10 years I've lived here been able to walk out to this or even get close to it and today I am So here I am, I'm underneath the, uh, the old pier here. Um, years and years ago, the ferry from uh, Buffalo, United States would have come over here and brought day trippers down to the beach and they dropped them off right here for the amusement park. But for anyone who lives in this area, when was the last time you actually managed to walk down here and stand down here? I mean, like I said, I've been here nearly 10 years and not once have I actually seen it like this. This is the lowest I've ever, ever seen it down here, the water level. Unreal. All right, I just noticed something. I think the water's coming back in. Um, in the last few minutes, I just noticed these ripples really starting to appear, and I just walked across this. So I'm gonna get back over quickly before it comes back. But I think the water's gonna start coming back in. It's not every day you uh, see the houses of Crystal Beach from this angle. Right, I'm now standing exactly where my sea dew was um, on Monday. In fact, those rocks there, I believe, are probably the rocks I had in my sand anchor and my anchor bag, which I dumped out. So my sand anchor was right here, and my sea dew was there, and the water was up to my waist where I'm standing. And now my feet are firmly on the ground. So it just shows you how much the water went out by. So, yeah. It's exactly where my sea dew was. Unbelievable. So anyway, that was the uh, Seach, uh, the spring Seach, and uh, it's a pretty good one. Uh, my first one of seeing it this end being really, really low. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. My lens is getting covered in water. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more weather-related videos, more Niagara videos, and also more sea dew adventures. Thanks. I still can't believe my sea dew <laughs> was right there where those rocks are. Right there.